What's up YouTube? Here again with the K5 Blazer. Uh, last video we put it on the TF2 ready to run truck that I got in today. This video we're going to talk tires. I, I, this is what I've been wanting to do since I've seen this body is I want to see what fits and what doesn't. Um, I am having one issue that this rear axle setting back a little further. I think I'm gonna have to lift it. Dang it! I'm gonna have to lift it. <laughs> Said no one ever. Um, that'll that'll help with uh, bringing that axle forward a little bit. So, uh, but for now, I'm gonna see what what fits and what doesn't from what I have. Now, I'm not gonna go any smaller than what's on it. And these are the 155. RC4 drive stamp steel bead locks with the mud thrashers that come on all the TF2 Mojave kits. And, uh, yeah. They're scale. They'll clear, they'll work, but they're tiny. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start. I'm going to try to do them in, in order of size here. And we'll work our way up. Um, I've got some other options like uh, pit bull growlers and mud slingers and. And I'm going to try 1.9s. I've seen a picture of one of these with 1.9s and it, it looked pretty good. I, I think this one might actually, this body might actually work well with both size wheels. I, I'm very particular about the, the wheel sizes. If you've seen any of these other tire fitment videos, some, some trucks like my Amigo, they just don't look right with 1.9s. They're too small. The Jeep Wrangler I think is too small. The, the Cruiser, the Land Cruiser body from RC4 Drive, I think it looks good with both. But I'm running one nines on it because it, it does seem a bigger scale. I think the Cruiser is still a bigger scale than this Blazer. Sadly, this Blazer, to be an actual an actual scale with all of the other bodies, or with the Cruiser, this this thing would have to be gigantic. <laughs> It'd probably be one seventh scale or something massive, just to because it you know in real life a Land Cruiser is tiny compared to a full size Blazer. But all right, anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna. Show you these. Um, show you from the front how they line up. You can see how narrow it is, and uh, move on to the next wheel. All right, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna have a big problem with this because these look awesome on there. I, this this looks like the right size. These are the 155 Rock Stompers on stamp steel beadlocks, and they just sit right. I think with a little bit wider hex, so I've just got the standard hex in it right now, a little bit wider hex and I think those might be a winner. <laughs> um, yeah. Now we still got a little bit of rub here on the front corner. I, I would say not enough to justify cutting anything yet. I need to put the body pins in the back, help hold that down, but that uh thing. It looks pretty good. <laughs> uh now the mud slingers and stuff are, are roughly the same height as these, the one five fives. So um I'm not sure how different they will look. I think it does look good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's try something else. All right, here we got the 155 mud slingers. Went in and put them on. They're roughly the same height as the rock stompers. Just a little bit more scale tread, a little more going on with it. Um, yeah, they look pretty good too. I like the, the black wheels. I wish I hadn't weathered these these other wheels. They, they've got a little bit of rust on them and whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so far, everything's looking good. Um, I'm trying to think what I can do next. I think we're gonna stay with 155s. Like, uh, I don't have that many. I'm not gonna take my tires off the D90 or the D110 because they have such narrow. Uh, those are the steel Andes. They have a narrower hub inside, so they're gonna they're not gonna sit right on this body. So I guess uh, we gotta go bigger. So. I know what to do next. All right, these are the 155 Mickey Thompson Baja Claw TTC. These are way too big. I mean, they're not too big, but they're they're too big at stock height. So we're gonna have 
a lot of rubbing in the corners. Get to this point, we're gonna have to start cutting out fender wells and lifting and stuff like that. So definitely an option though because they they look right. They just need a little bit of a lift on it to clear them. I don't want to turn this into a monster truck. I still want to keep it scale, but it they look I mean, so many K5 Blazers look like monster trucks anyway. At least around here, there's a lot of lifted off-roading type <laughs> mutters as they call them. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I think I'm gonna do the IROCs next. All right, those look pretty nice. Those are the RC four-wheel drive Interco IROC 155s on Gearhead RC non beadlock wheels. I bought those wheels because they're pretty and they're they're not beadlocks so so I've been hesitant to use them on anything but they look pretty good. That's that's a nice setup. Still still need a little bit of a lift but uh that looks pretty good. Man. This makes me want to just sell all my RCs and buy me a real K5 blazer. <laughs> All right, these are the stock uh, dirt grabbers, one nines. They're just way too narrow. They look terrible from the front. The, the tread on these is awesome. If these tires were just a little bit wider, they would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they just look too narrow, and I, they make the wheels look way too big. So not not a fan of those. All right, so these are the same wheels, one nine stamp steels with the Dick Pec Mud Countries. And those are a much wider tire, nearly twice as wide as the others and they fit well they would work well but uh, I'm now that I'm seeing it in person I'm, I'm kind of not liking the one nines um, and also if you're familiar with the one nines they have this type of hub where your hex is made into the hub there's not a separate piece well it's not you don't use the you don't use this your 12 millimeter adapter it just goes straight on to the axle shaft with the pin and that makes them sit a little narrower, which is good for scale stuff, but this body's so wide, it's making them too far in, so it doesn't doesn't look quite right. Um, let's see what else I can find to put on here. Alright, yeah. Thought I'd try it. These are the one nine mud mud slap what are, mud thrashers. These are the ones that came on the TF2 short wheelbase kit with those RC four wheel drive revolution one nine B locks. And uh Yeah. Not really feeling that at all. A little too, a little too flashy. Those little wheels are too flashy for everything, it seems. All right, guys. Well, that's all the wheels and tires that I'm gonna try. I think what you see here is is the way I want to go. You just can't beat that that look. All that rubber, the small wheel. It's very, uh, very scale. So um, I think my first step. I think I might try to swap uh, bruiser shackles on here to give it a small lift and that'll help pinion angles as well uh, just to give me a little bit more and then we'll check out how our uh, clearance is with steering and flex um, like this is still box stock this kit this chassis so I've still got the extra leafs on it I'm hoping that once uh, I don't have to take any of them off. I'm hoping once we get the body all done, it's so heavy that it'll actually work with all the leafs because it looks more scale. Then I've even considered looking at the uh, the RC four wheel drive scale leaf springs that they have that are actually have all the leaves and they're clamped together. I just I can't imagine those being very flexible <laughs> to look that real with all the different bands in it. But you never know. But this is where we're at. Uh, I think this is going to be a really fun build. And I'm excited to see how this thing drives. But uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned. We've got a lot more to come. Not just on this, but I've got almost done with our Amigo build. Got to do the end, finish the interior up. And I've got this extra K5 body that I've been itching to do something with. I don't have a clue what yet. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all. See you next video.